Long ago, the giant Carlon tree, the essence of balance and order in the world, withered and died. By the will of the heavens, the world was cleaved in two. Many years later, the Chosen of Regeneration planted a new world tree to take the place of the withered giant Carlon tree. The birth of the new world tree also brought about the unification of Silverot and Tetha Allah. The two worlds were now reborn as one. The world was at the dawn of a bright new era, or so it seemed. With their high level of technological prowess, the Tetha Alan civilization looked down upon the people of Silverant as barbarians. The Silveranti blamed the Chosen of Regeneration for bringing this world into being, as they turned their backs on the Church of Martel that supported her. Amidst all of this chaos, the world itself began to cry out. Scorching hot deserts were blanketed with snow. Bountiful lakes dried up and withered. Forests burned to ash as glaciers melted into the sea. These phenomena fanned the flames of dissatisfaction within the hearts of the people, leading to the birth of a monster. A resistance organization was formed by the oppressed people of Silverant to defend themselves. United against the perceived evils of Tetha Allah and the Church of Martel, they called themselves the Silveranti Liberation Front, the Vanguard. This way! Hurry! Yes. Emil, hurry! We must get away or we'll all be killed by Lloyd! Who did you say is going to kill you? Lloyd Irving! The people of Paul Macosta have aided the Vanguard and undermined the authority of the Church of Martell and the Chosen. The punishment for this crime is death! Mom! Emil! Run! Get away from here! Help me. Help me 
you had a task? Are you all right? Are you the one who saved me? That's Tenebrae's howl. I have to go. Wait, what's your name? Emil, you came back. Oh dear, I can't even see your face. I, I'm not going to last much longer. But you, you have to live. You have to run before Lloyd comes back. Go to Lewin, to your Aunt Flora. Hurry. <laughs> Mom. That howl. I feel like I've heard it before. Maybe it's just my imagination. Good morning, Aunt Flora. That how? Monsters have been going down into the lake bed since dawn! I I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Uh, um... Despicable child, always so indecisive. You're hardly like Lana at all. You must take after Raysol. I'm sorry. There's that howl again. It sounds like it's coming from the Fountain Plaza. Lloyd. Hey, Emil, we saw that. Bow to Lloyd the Great. I, I already did. No, no you, you didn't. didn't. You don't like Lloyd the Great, do you?
That's why you're trying to destroy our city. Because Lloyd restored it to its former beauty. What are you talking about? Don't act dumb! Ever since you came here, Lake Sanoa's dried up and there are more monsters. You're planning on getting your monster friends to attack the town, aren't you? Uh, of course not. Okay, then prove it. What? Swear your allegiance to Lloyd the Great right now. If you do that, then we'll believe you. Come, Come on, on, let's, let's hear, hear it. it. <laughs> What's the matter? Swear it. <laughs> no, I won't. Lloyd killed my parents, and I'll never swear allegiance to that murderer! We heard that. So that's how you really feel, huh? No, that's not what I meant to say. Shut up, you monster! We'll teach you a lesson! Uh! Get lost. Uh, who the hell are you? I said go. Uh, I am. You, you are. Uh, yes. What is it? Never mind. You know, you should stand up for yourself. I... I was too scared to even thank him for that. Maybe that's why I haven't been able to make any friends. I... I wish I had friends. But I guess, I guess that'll never happen. Never mind. You know, you should stand up for yourself. Stand up for myself. He's right. I should thank him for helping me out the way he did. That's what I'll do. What is it? Maybe this was a bad idea. If you've got nothing to say, then I've got something to ask you. Uh, oh, okay. So they said that your name is Emil. Well, Emil, have you seen a girl around here with a red jewel on her forehead? What? Uh, I, um... No, sir. What are you so nervous about? Uh, I, uh... Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. Huh? Their words, a human with a few screws loose said long ago. When you refused to swear allegiance to Lloyd, didn't you feel courage welling up inside of you? Those who would grovel and beg, or run away at the first sight of another's anger, are dogs, or even worse. Are you a dog, or are you really a man? I... I'm... uh... <laughs> Just try to do your best to be a man, Emil.
courage, the magic that turns dreams into reality. I'm not a monster. I need to stand up like a human being. Sounds like it's coming from the lake bed. What should I do? I want to know what it is, but I'd be leaving town to go down there. Aunt Flora will get mad if I leave without permission. What could it be? Alba, what is it? Is something wrong? Uh, Uncle Alba. <laughs> what do you want? Get the hell out of here, you little nuisance. I'm sorry. Always getting in the way. Just go home and stay out of trouble. Just the sight of you puts the whole town in distress. Forget about the vanguard-loving Brad Alba. Did something happen? Monsters I've never seen before showed up in Lake Sanoa's lake bed. Several members of the City Watch are down. Wh what? I'm going to gather reinforcements. Go tell the mayor what happened. Right! That howl again. If I go now, I could make it down to the lake bed. But everyone will get mad at me. Those who would grovel and beg, or run away at the first sight of another's anger, are dogs, or even worse. I'll go. I'm not a dog. I'm a human being. What should I do? made it this far, but... yet. Are you gonna fight with me or run? Um, come uh... on, you're a man. Speak up! Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. Huh? Their words, a human with a few screws loose, said long ago. When you refused to swear allegiance to Lloyd, didn't you feel courage welling up inside of you? I'll fight. Okay, then I'll leave the front line to you. There, good work. It's pretty dangerous here, so you should probably get going. Hey, it's you! Huh? What do you mean? You don't... you don't remember me, do you? 
Maybe I'm wrong, but you look just like him. Well, what are you talking about? It's nothing, never mind, I'm sorry. Anyway, you should leave here as soon as you can, okay? Uh, wait a minute. Yes, what is it? I'm in a hurry. I, I wanted to thank you for saving me. My name's Emil. So, um, what's your name? I'm Marta. Is that it? If it's dangerous here, then maybe you should leave too. If things get dangerous, will you save me again? But you were the one who was kind enough to save me. <laughs> you don't remember, do you? I'm sorry to confuse you. But I really have to get going. Take care of yourself, Emil. A red jewel on her forehead. So they said that your name is Emil. Well, Emil, have you seen a girl around here with a red jewel on her forehead? Maybe... Marta is the girl with the jewel that that man was looking for. I should probably let him know. You little... What are you doing here? I'm sorry. You just have to go out of your way to cause trouble. Thanks to your little grudge against Lloyd the Great, there are rumors that our family's secretly supporting the Vanguard. Go home and keep your mouth shut. Ugh, when I get home, so help me. I wonder if that guy is still in town. He'll probably be happy if I tell him about that girl Marta. It's strange, though. She seemed like she knew me. Have I met her before? I think I'd remember a cute girl like her. She must be confusing me with someone else. Yeah, must be. What should I do? Uncle Abba was really angry. I, I wonder if he'll hit me again. What should I do? I'm scared. I really should have just ignored that monster's howl. If only Lloyd hadn't attacked Paul Macosta, I wouldn't be going through all this. Emil. Oh, do you already know Richter? Uh, um, well... I asked him earlier if he knew of Marta's whereabouts. Ah, I see. Um, Richter? What is it? Well, um, the girl with the red jewel on her forehead, I... You saw Marta? Yes, well, you see... Where? Oh, well, um... Just calm down and try to explain what you saw. Lake Sanoa, um, where the monsters come out, just before... Enough! <laughs> Mayor, I'd like to take him with me. Can I count on you to take me to where you saw Marta? Yes. He certainly is determined. Take him to where you saw the girl. Just be careful of monsters, all right? Sorry to keep you waiting. 
You apologize too much. Of course, if you want to become a dog, I won't stop you. I'm sorry. Oh. Sorry. Stop apologizing. Anyway, I'm sorry for yelling at you earlier. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and take me to where you saw Marta. Hey, don't fall behind. I'm sorry. What do you think you're doing walking in front of me? Uh, sorry. Hey. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not angry with you. You came back again? What's wrong with you, you demonic little brat? Hmm. A friend of the Vanguard, indeed. He may be your nephew, but you sure took in a real pest. I, I'm sorry. The mayor's given his permission for Emil to accompany me. Step aside. The mayor? B but... Move! What are you waiting for? Come on, let's go. Wait! There are monsters in there! Yes, and? I'm telling you, it's dangerous! You can go if you want, but leave him here with us! Didn't you just call him a demonic little brat? Emil, what do you want to do? I... Emil, you stay with us! I... um... Make up your mind. Even dogs can think for themselves. Come on, you're a man! Speak up! Who the hell does he think he is? Come on, let's go! going with them. Emil! I'm going! Um, Richter. Let's go. Huh? Aren't you coming with me? Yes. Don't get in my way. You're responsible for protecting yourself. I'll bail you out if things get too tough. Okay. Alba really laid into you. Why didn't you say anything back? I'm sorry. You were like that with the kids in town as well. Bullies like that will never leave you alone if you don't stand up to them. Do you understand? Nothing will change if you just take it. Uh I'm sorry. What did I say about over-apologizing? Oh, right. I'm not blaming you. You're free to do as you choose. Just don't be so submissive all the time. Have more respect for yourself. I can't tell if Richter's a nice guy or not. Emil. You fought monsters before, I assume. Huh? Um, I mean, well... Don't tell me you haven't. Um, I... only a little. So, then you have. Twice, I think. You think? Hmm? This one should do fine. A monster?
There, that should be enough. Ha! What was that? It's called an art. You learn them the more you fight and develop your skills. Even I can learn them? You will in time. So, now do you understand how to fight? I... I think so. Don't worry. I told you, I'll back you up. I'm the one who asked for your help. I won't let anything happen to you. Okay. Um... What is it? Why are you... um... Why are you looking for Marta? Is that something you need to know in order to live? Um, no. I was just wondering. I have no need to satisfy your idle curiosity. I'm sorry. Don't apologize so excessively. Uh. I'm often accused of being short with people. I don't intend to change my ways, but it doesn't mean I have anything against you. Thank you. That's not something you need to thank me for. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Emil, stop! Pay attention! You almost walked right into a monster! Sorry. If you touch any monster you see walking around, you'll have to fight them. Got it? If you stumble into an enemy, as you almost did just now, they're likely to get the upper hand and attack you from behind. So the way you run into monsters makes a difference? That's right. Attacking an enemy from behind works out in your favor. But if they get behind you, they'll have the advantage. It's the same for both fighting and fleeing. Be aware of the enemy's direction and movements. Failing to do so can get you killed. Okay, I understand. And one more thing. I can't have you wandering in a daze like that again, so listen. It's not that I didn't appreciate your words of gratitude. I simply feel there's no need to give more thanks or apologies than the situation calls for. Alright. We must express ourselves to convey our feelings to others. However, I feel emotions lose their strength once they're put into words. So I prefer to speak only what is absolutely necessary. That's all. Okay. This is the first time I've ever had to explain this much to anyone. What's that? Probably just a monster. Don't worry about it. Of course I'm gonna worry. Then you can wait here. What about you? There's a monster in there. Probably a strong one. Wait here until I take it out. But I... You'll just get in the way. Stay here. Okay. I'm just not cut out for this sort of thing. <laughs> Was that Marta? What should I do? If things get dangerous, will you save me again? I don't know anything about her, but I can't just ignore it. Now, hand over that Ratatosk's core on your forehead. No. Then I'll just have to destroy it along with you. Stop it, please! Richter, what are you doing? 
I thought I told you to wait on the other side of the door. This is why you were looking for her? So you could kill her? That's right. Why? Because she is trying to awaken Ratatosk, the Demon Lord. Demon Lord? What are you talking about? I agree. It's quite a foolish name, but Demon Lord is the most appropriate term to describe what he is. If Ratatosk awakens, the world will be destroyed. No, you're wrong! Ratatosk is not a demon! He's the lord of all monsters! He won't destroy the world! I'm not interested in semantics. Ugh. What are you doing? Step aside! No! Move! I'm not a dog. That's why I'm going to make my own decisions. Emil. Thank you. I don't want to kill you. Move. I I don't really understand what you two are talking about, but you can't do things like this. If you just talk this over, I thought I told you not to get in my way. Aqua, show yourself. You called, Master Richter? Take care of the boy. Just don't overdo it. A talking monster? Who are you calling a monster, you human? I am a Centurion. Centurion Aqua! Now then, my cute little minion. Remove the boy from our presence! Yeah. What was that? I won't be able to catch up with Richter with that thing in the way. You must forge a pact. monster I am not a beast I too am a centurion centurion tenebrae centurion tenebrae you could never defeat the monster on the other side of this door as you are now forge a pact to become a knight of ratatosk then you will be able to accept Lord ratatosk's power in battle what do you mean there is no time to explain. Lady Marta is in danger. But, I mean, you're just a monster, a centurion. I mean, and I, I don't know if... That how? Were you the one calling me? Lady Marta was looking for you. You saved her life and she has chosen you to be a knight. Me? Now forge the pact. Uh, I'll make the pact. Understood. Emil, I command you, unleash the power within yourself. Awaken, hunter of evil! What are you doing here? Let's go. What? You want to fight? You're going to regret this. The only one who's going to regret this is you. Now come on! What just happened? 
Lord Ratatosk's power took hold of you. It felt like I became someone else. Yes, that was Lord Ratatosk's power. I'm not quite sure I understand. Anyway, what happened to Aqua? I didn't even touch her. Centurions themselves do not fight. They employ monster servants to battle in their place. If their monsters are defeated, the Centurion's power will also fade. Right now, she is only unconscious. Oh, that's good. I didn't want to hurt her. Come, we must go after Lady Marta. Did I learn something just now? It appears you've acquired a skill. A skill? Yes, a special technique for battle. Skills are acquired by meeting certain requirements. Everyone has their own set of skills they can learn. Once learned, you can set which skills to use from the skill screen on the menu. Select whatever skills you think will be the most useful. However, the number of skills you can equip at one time is limited. The total points of all selected skills cannot exceed a character's skill point limit. So think carefully when setting your skills. Do you understand? Yeah, sort of. Do you really? I've got it, I think. This should be an interesting journey. I wonder if I can do this. You can. I have every confidence that you can save Lady Marta. Mm -hmm. You must believe in your powers as a Knight of Ratatosk. But I... Humans have a saying, seeing is believing. I don't think that exactly applies here. Anyway, thanks Tenebrae. I'll give it my best shot. It, it won't open. Richter must have sealed it off. Then, what should we do? I feel a draft. There must be another passage somewhere. Perhaps you should use the sorcerer's ring to examine the walls. What's that? There, on your finger. Huh? That ring was given to you by Lord Ratatosk as a symbol of your pact. Magical power dwells within it. But I'm a human. Only elves and half-elves can use magic. Don't worry. That ring can be used by humans as well. Really? I guess I'll try it out. I see you finally noticed. I've been wondering when you would bring it up. I noticed right away. Just never seemed like a good time to ask. Along with the Sorcerer's Ring, those clothes are a symbol of your pact with Lord Ratatosk. It's vital that a Knight of Ratatosk present himself with a certain degree of elegance. R right. The outfit's fabric is prepared with a number of special incantations and hexes that make the garment waterproof, wrinkle-free, and mold-resistant. The design is meant to evoke Lord Ratatosk's fierce bravery and his subtle grace. The effect is mesmerizing. Wait a sec. One other question. Yes? What happened to the clothes I was wearing before? That is the darkness's... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, forget I said anything. The darkness is what? <laughs> hey, come on! And Flora's gonna skin me alive if I lose those clothes. <laughs> Only the darkness knows. An imp. It will do nicely. Let us forge a pact. 
Pact? Your power as a knight of Ratatosk is granted to you by Lord Ratatosk himself. However, he is currently in a deep slumber. As a result, the power he grants you is very weak. This is weak? No way! Lord Ratatosk is very powerful. As you gain experience and grow your abilities, it's crucial you continue to unlock more of his strength. But how am I supposed to do that? It's simple. We Centurions share a bond with Lord Ratatosk. If power is restored to the Centurions, Lord Ratatosk's strength will return as well. We can accomplish this by forging pacts with monsters. How does that work? As I explained earlier, Centurions do not engage in battle themselves. We use monsters under our control. A Centurion's power depends on the number and strength of the monsters it employs. I am the Centurion of Darkness, so any pact you make with dark elemental monsters will bring them under my control and make me more powerful in the process. So the more monsters I get on my side, the stronger I'll become? That's correct. But how do I make a pact? Like this. What are you doing? In order to make a pact, you must first prove you are more powerful than your opponent. You must force them to yield to you in battle. You didn't tell me I'd have to fight! I just did. Ah, it approaches. Wait! Well done! You have made the Imp your ally! Hey, Aqua is a Centurion too, right? Will I get stronger if she has more monsters under her control? No. Aqua has chosen to sever her bond with Lord Ratatosk. As such, even if she acquires more monster servants, your powers will not increase. But there are other Centurions, right? Yes. You will learn about the others in due time, but you may enter into packs with monsters without the Centurion of the same element. Later, when you befriend the appropriate Centurions, your strength will increase accordingly. That's nice and everything, but I only became a Knight of Ratatosk because I needed a fight now. I'm not really interested in getting any stronger than this. Now, now, there's no harm in arming yourself with a little information. Also, to make pacts, you will need the pact magic appropriate for each monster. Really? Yes. When you have subdued a monster that you wish to make your ally, I will cast the pact magic. I'm not sure I understand, so I'll leave it to you. That's fine. Ah, now there's a wolf. Just what we're looking for. Try making a pact with him. But I just made a pact with a monster. Yes, but I'll teach you a way to make forming pacts easier. There's an easier way? Yes, you can make monsters under your control fight beside you. If your ally and the enemy are compatible, the pact will go more smoothly. Add the imp you gain to your combat roster and then try fighting the wolf. Okay. Well done. Now the wolf has also become our ally. Why is making packs easier depending on the monster you have fighting with you? Monsters have compatibility with each other. The type and strength of the monsters you befriend also have an effect on packs. Make sure to experiment with this yourself. That monster joined us? Bravo! Huh? Beautiful, fantastic, simply excellent! I must admit, I am quite impressed. Really? Of course that monster is ideal for beginners. I would be rather concerned if you had failed. Uh... Richter! <sighs> Hang on! H how did this... I was careless, Lloyd. Huh? Lloyd.
Lloyd Irving. He... Lloyd? You mean the servant of the Chosen of Regeneration? The core... He... Richter! It's all right. The attack missed his vital organs. So he'll survive? Yes. Just leave him here and he will be fine. It is more important to go after Lady Marta. Leave him here? We can't do that. We need to at least tell someone. There's no time. Now that Lloyd has appeared, time is of the essence. Lady Marta's life is in grave danger. After all, this man is the enemy. Didn't you come here to protect her? I did, but I can't just leave him like this. Richter said some mean things, but he also helped me. I can't just abandon him now. Go on ahead and find Marta. I'll follow you as soon as I can. I believe you will regret this decision, but it is yours to make. Damn Lloyd. How could he do that to Richter? First he took my mother and father from me, and now he's hurt Richter. I won't let him get away with this! Oh, you! Aqua, you have to come with me. Huh, you expect me to just go with you after what happened? That doesn't matter right now. Richter's been hurt badly. Lloyd attacked him and... What? Lloyd? I think he'll live, but I'm still worried. Hurry and help him. You came back to tell me that? Hmm, you're not half bad. Nowhere near as cool as Master Richter, but still. <laughs> Just come! Master Richter! Aqua, how is he? He'll be fine. He took a sword to the back, but that's not the reason he collapsed. It's the wound from two years ago. What happened? If you weren't my enemy, I'd tell you. Anyway, leave Master Richter to me. All right, time to find Marta. Lloyd's after her. I better hurry. Why are you here? Who are you? Why did you kill them? Emil! My mother and my father, and all those people in Pamacosta. Why did you have to kill all of them? Not again. With Paul Macosta. How dare you say that! What do you mean, again? I'll never forgive you for that! I'm alive. I guess he decided not to kill us. 
Lady Marta, Centurion Lumen's core is... It's gone! Uh, are you talking about a white jewel? I, I think that Lloyd took it with him. He took it? Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Was it important? Yes. Centurion Lumen's core is essential to our journey. Lady Marta, let's hurry. You and I must go after them. <sighs> okay, but first... Thank you so much, Emil. I really appreciate you saving me once again. I didn't do anything. I mean, I was pretty much useless. But you did save me. You became a knight. A knight of Ratatosk. That's why you were able to save me, right? I always thought that you would make a wonderful night. It's true. That's what I thought ever since the first time we met. You what? <laughs> it's okay. I guess that it just wasn't as memorable for you. But honestly, I'm very grateful to you for saving me. What would I have done without you? Uh, um... Lady Marta, we must hurry. Yes, you're right. Emil? Would you help us? Just until we make it out of this place? Uh, sure. Marta is kind of a strange girl. What's this? It looks like the mask that Lloyd was wearing. It's pretty... tacky. Super tacky. Tacky, indeed. I can't believe the time's finally come. What is it, Emil? Counting this last fight, we fought 500 battles. Really? That's incredible! Well, I mean, we've still got plenty of fighting left to do. I can't believe you've actually kept track this entire time. You're amazing! Oh, and that's what you meant. You have now befriended ten monsters. It's getting quite lively. Yeah! Let's see how many more we can get! You have now befriended 25 monsters. It's sort of sad. What's wrong? Aren't you happy? 25 monsters isn't bad. Yeah, but this means I have more monster friends than human ones. That is, rather... Yeah, okay, that's sad. You have now befriended 100 monsters. Well done. Hmm, with this many, we could open a three-ring monster circus. We'll have to start teaching them tricks in our spare time. Marta, you sound serious about this. We'll start by practicing with an illusion where I, the fantabulous Marta, appear to be devoured whole by a ferocious beast. Enough already. It appears the door has been sealed from the other side. Damn! This must be Lloyd's doing. I'm sure he did this to trap us in here. Ugh. There is a draft. There must be another way out. Let's have a look around. This is Lloyd's mask. It's probably inspired by that play, The Phantom of the Operetta. You think so? It reminds me more of F for Feud. Is that the one with the twin brothers where the one is king and at the end they switch places? You're thinking of the man in the Illumina mask. How can you get those two mixed up? I have no idea what you two are talking about. Jewel Hunter Lloyd Irving is here. What's this? Ugh, that jerk! Set it on fire! Emil, burn it for her. Burn it? Oh, you mean that?
happened? Great! Now we can go search for Lloyd! But I'm only able to pick up a small trace of Lumen. It may be too late to follow them. No. Is this Lumen's crew really so valuable that you'd fight over it? Oh, I guess a lot of this doesn't make sense to you. To put it simply, the Centurion's cores are the eggs of Centurions, like Tenebrae. Lumen's core is the egg of Centurion Lumen. You might say that cores contain Centurions in hibernation. And the core on my forehead is Ratatosk's core, and it's... Th the Demon Lord's egg? I told you he's not a demon! Perhaps we should take the time to explain all of this to Emil. True, but let's get out of here first. So, Marta, about this rat attacks? It's ratatosk, not ratatax. Oh, right. Um, so this rat attacks? His name is Ratatosk. Sheesh, what's the difference? What's the difference? <laughs> How rude. How would you feel if someone were to call you a mule? Actually, my mule is quite the combination of strength and servility. <laughs> well played, Lady Marta. Well played. So much for asking about Ratatosk. Why do you think Lloyd is collecting Centurion's course? Hmm. He could be trying to exterminate anyone who resists the Church of Martell. I bet it's something like that. Th that's why he's collecting them? I don't know. But in Palma Costa... Palma Costa? Never mind. Anyway, he's teamed up with the Church of Martell to oppress the people of Silverant. So he must be gathering the cores for some lousy reason or another. It makes me want to scream! Lloyd stands for Lousy, with a capital L! Yeah, and that second L in his name stands for Loser. Or even Laudacious. What does that mean? Beats me. Oh, of course. This is where the Tower of Mana used to be. Lloyd and his companions came here on their journey of world regeneration. So it's a historical site for the Church of Martell. Right. No wonder there are hidden passages. And of course, Lloyd would show up. Oh, so Lloyd's friends in the Church of Martell guided him. It's only a guess. I'm unable to sense Lumen's presence. It appears that Lloyd has escaped. I guess we'll go back to Lewin for now. That okay with you? Uh, yeah. Why don't we take a break here? It'll give us a chance to explain to you about Ratatosk. Sure. I want to know what's going on. All right, then. How much do you know about the world before its regeneration by the chosen Colette? I know the basics. As you know, our world was divided into two by the will of the goddess Martel and the hero Mythos. While the world was divided in two, Lord Ratatosk transformed into his core and became dormant. That's this core on my forehead, Ratatosk's core. You mean that's the Demon Lord Ratatosk's egg? Lord Ratatosk is not a Demon Lord. He was a summoned spirit of the Great Tree of Old and is the Lord of all monsters. In order to awaken Ratatosk, we have to first awaken all of his servants, the Centurions, by hatching them. That's why we're on a journey looking for the Centurions' cores. Why can't Ratatosk stay asleep? If he's asleep, nature will be thrown off balance and destroy the world. For instance, Ratatosk's sleep is the reason why Lake Sinoa has dried up. And without him around to oversee things, most monsters have cut ties with the Centurions they serve. 
So the monsters are running wild and causing the world's mana to fall out of balance. Even while Lord Ratatosk is dormant, the Centurions are supposed to form ties with monsters and maintain order. Yet the Centurion of Water, Aqua, has allied with Richter and is neglecting her duties. Which is precisely the reason why we have seen one water-related disaster after another. It's absolutely deplorable. If all this is true, then why do you have to fight? Lord Ratatosk is exceedingly powerful. Though they may not be as powerful as Ratatosk's core, Centurion's cores still possess remarkable powers. Some people are trying to get the cores for their own selfish reasons. Lloyd and Richter are among those people. Lady Marta recovered Ratatosk's core from them. But somehow the core managed to attach itself to my forehead. To tell you the truth, it's a bit frustrating. Do you understand now? Yeah, I guess. But I still can't believe Richter would do something like that. I'll drop out of sight since my presence may draw unwanted attention. Oh, hey! You're not one of the monsters that attack the people in town, are you? Of course not. Those monsters were lured to the village by Lumen's core. When Centurions are in their core state, they're unable to control their powers. This results in the disruption of the mana balance and throws nature into chaos. That's why I don't want to give the core to Lloyd or Richter. I guess Centurions' cores are nothing but trouble. How rude. All right, why don't we go to your house for now? Oh, um, we should first go tell the mayor what happened with Richter. Okay, maybe we can ask him about Lloyd, too. Let's go. Yeah. I don't want her to see me being yelled at by my aunt and uncle. Hey, Tenebrae, are you here? Yes, I'm right over here. Huh? Where? Here. Over here? No, over here. Wait, you mean here? Tenebrae, stop teasing Emil. How rude. This is part of the training of a Knight of Ratatosk. Let's see, where am I now? <laughs> <sighs> now I know why Aqua calls you spiteful. Here I was getting all ready to visit Emile's house, introduce myself to his family, and make our status as a wonderful new couple official. So that's why you demanded he take you to his home so suddenly. I get it now. Emile's so shy, he must be too embarrassed to return home with his girlfriend. That sounds like wishful thinking to me. Quiet, Tenebrae. That settles it. I've got to get him to like me more. Hey, Emile! When's your birthday? What's your favorite food? Do you like girls with long or short hair better? Hey, hey, Marta! Stop clinging to me! I'm afraid this will be an unrequited love. Lady Marta, we've been looking for you. Hawk, is he a friend? Commander Brute says that if you return Ratatosk's core, all will be forgiven, and you'll be welcomed back into the Vanguard. You're a member of the Vanguard? You can tell Commander Brute that what you did, what all of you did, isn't something I can forget. Whatever do you mean? Don't act dumb. I'm not giving up Ratatosk's core. <laughs> then we will show you no mercy. Men, seize Lady Marta. Yes, yes sir. Lady Marta, Emile, we must leave this place at once. You're right. Let's go. 
Huh, what? How did I get wrapped up in this mess? Get them! Move! W what? Huh? What? Y you You're from the Church of Martell! I am Magnar, Commandant of the Church of Martell. By the orders of Lloyd the Great, I have come to take the Demon Lord Ratatosk and the Centurion's Corps. You're all the same. Hand it over, and I will guarantee that none of you will be harmed. However, if you refuse, this town will meet the same fate as Palma Costa. Same as Palma Costa? What does he mean? What, boy? You don't know? A foolish vanguard planned to use Ratatosk's core to start a rebellion in order to destroy the Church of Martell and the Chosen. Lloyd killed all of those innocent people to steal Ratatosk's core, and to quell the rebellion. That's what my parents died for? Imp, my servant, go! <laughs> Lady Marta, Emile, we must leave town now. be destroyed. Foolish, barbarous Silverati, listen well. I am Commandant Magnar of the glorious Martell Knights. We have come here to arrest the vile vanguard for their crimes, blasphemy against the church, and inciting rebellions and discontentment across the world. However, we have also recently received reports from Lloyd the Great stating that the people of Luan have been engaged in sinful cooperation with the Vanguard. Therefore, this whole town, along with the Vanguard, now face charges of treason against the Chosen. But I will grant one final opportunity to redeem yourselves. A girl named Marta is hiding in this city. Bring her to me. Do so, and Lloyd the Great may very well forgive your crimes. Marta, hand them the core on your forehead. But I... I can't. Why not? If you, the Vanguard, hadn't attempted a rebellion, Pomacosta never would have been destroyed in the first place! I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. But if we don't do something, Luan will be destroyed. And if that happens, everyone will blame me since I'm the one who brought you here. You're right. I'm truly sorry about what happened in Palma Costa. Where are you? I'll give them Ratatosk's core. I'm sorry, Tenebrae. Emile, Knight of Ratatosk, you just sent Lady Marta to her death. Lord Ratatosk's core on her forehead requires energy from her body. The core cannot be separated from her before Lord Ratatosk awakens. Removing it beforehand will surely cause her death. 
No, we have to tell her. She already knows. She intends to die for this town and for you, for your petty desire to protect yourself. I just wanted you to know the consequences of your words. I'm going to stop Marta. You'll be ostracized by the people in town. I don't care. Well then, I shall go with you. I'm here now. Are you satisfied? Tell us where Ratatosk's core and the Centurion's cores are. I don't have a Centurion's core, but Ratatosk's core is right here. If you want it that badly, you'll have to take it with my head. What a marvelous idea. I think I will. Seize her, men! We no longer have any need for this town. Hand down the divine punishment they deserve. No, wait a minute. You said that you'd... That's enough. Silence! The orders of Lloyd the Great are absolute. All right, men, the time has come. Pillage! Kill! Show them the divine punishment of the goddess Martell! Yes, sir! Didn't you hear what I said? I said stop, you miserable swine! I'll teach you the true meaning of divine punishment! Stand up, Marta. Uh, Emil! Now then, time for your punishment. You better pray to Martel one last time. Pray to her for a painless death! Get to those against the goddess Martel! How could I... I don't understand. Who are you? The question is, who the hell are you? Well, let's see your divine punishment now. Go ahead. Show it to me! Are you listening? 
What? What did I do? Dita, Mole, they didn't run away. Oh, hey! How, how are you? You doing good? We're pretty busy, so, uh... Yeah, it's not like we're afraid of you or anything. Oh. Both the Vanguard and the Martell Knights have left town. The mayor wants to talk to you. Will you come? Emil, thank you. Mm. You saved me again. <laughs> I... I'll always be on your side. That's a promise. So cheer up, okay? Thanks, Marta. Emil. Aunt Flora, I... Get away from us, you monster! How could you? No, it's okay. It's okay. Emil, thank you for coming. I have a favor to ask of you. What sort of favor? I want you to go find Lloyd for me. Is this... is this your way of telling me to leave? No. I simply cannot believe what just happened here. The Lloyd that I know would never allow this kind of slaughter and looting, even on orders from the church. But... I didn't believe what you said about Paul Costa until today. But it seems that the same thing almost happened to our town. I'm just not sure what to believe anymore. Mayor, it doesn't take much for people to change. Like me. That may be so. Which is exactly why I want you to investigate this. Why Lloyd changed like he did, and why he's looking for Ratatosk and the Centurion's cores. So this is how you plan to protect Emil from the fear of the townspeople? The people of our town are easily frightened. Please forgive them. But I believe this is for your own good. I'll look for Lloyd, and then... I will avenge my parents. I understand. I won't try to stop you. Emil, our town may be full of people who fear you, but this is still your home. I know it may sound hard to believe now, but once things calm down, I want you to come back. I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. Emil. Thank you for saving Lewin. <laughs>